Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode of Techni Talks. Holy stinking moly, I didn't think I was gonna make this one. I really didn't. After all those videos, seven videos of new product releases in four days. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take a couple days off, you know what I mean? And I did, I did. It was just like, just gamed, right? Just straight up gamed. I mean, yeah, I still replied to comments and stuff like that, which was quite a few, you know what I mean? And I was really itching. I was, I was like, man, I'm itching to get back in front of that camera. So again, I just love it. I love it, guys. Um, but anyways, that's what we're going to talk about today is recap. Kind of talking about everything we talked about, my process going through it, talking about the products, just kind of, again, just a recap hang out here. And I'm going to do these Techni Talks a little bit different since I'm using the same products just about all the time now. We've got a really sweet setup, right, with the Blade 17 XLR and the Audio Technica. Whenever I switch it up, I'll call it out what products I'm using. Still, links for everything will be down in the description for whatever I'm using. But when I'm keeping it the same, I'm just not going to waste your guys' time, right? Another thing I'm going to do different on Techni Talks here is any of the giveaways I announce, whether it be in a video or it be on Twitter or on my website, unless it's a members only giveaway, whatever, but if it's a standard giveaway, I'm going to always announce them here on Techni Talks, right? Just again, y'all know I love my giveaways going to true viewers. And I feel like the true viewers come by for, again, all videos and Techni Talks. I see you guys in the videos and then at Techni Talks. Don't, don't think I don't see it. You know what I mean? So that's just how I want to keep it. And speaking of that, before we dive into the video, the one giveaway we're going to be announcing, not announcing, but it's going to happen in this video. I will draw the winner just like I did last week in the Techni Talks. Um, I'll announce it would I announce it that day or that night? Something like that. Again, it'll be a day span from this video. So I guess Monday, right? That was probably confusing because I confused myself. Anyways, it's going to be this Hottie HTS Ace Edition. This is actually one product I couldn't get to because, uh, again, I was swamped with all the other stuff. But anyways, we're going to be giving one of these away right here. Brand new. So uh, again, if you comment in this video, you'll be entered. That's that. Let's put this over there. So anyways, that's stuff I just wanted to refresh and cover there. But let's dive into this video, guys. Let's talk about the recap of all these new products we covered here. And we still have more. I still have more new releases coming. You know what I mean? But uh, the funny thing, let's start off right here. Why did I do seven videos in four days? Well, a lot of this stuff had embargoes for the, the same day. I think a lot of them were Wednesday. I forget the date. Anyways. I think like four of them were on the same day. So I was like, yeah, no way. I'm not going to be able to do that. It's not, not going to happen, you know? But then I started thinking in my head, I'm like, yo, this would be really cool and just a fun project, a fun challenge for myself to crank these out and get them done. You know what I mean? It's not like the companies aren't saying, hey, you need the video out this time. They don't say that at all. They're kind of like, hey, here it is. Post it when you can, you know? Um, it's not like, hey, here's the embargo that you have to post it here. You all know I'll never sign anything like that, you know? So, but again, just for myself, it was a cool challenge. Like, I want to see if I can crank this out. I think it'll be fun for the viewer, fun for me. It was tough. It was, because the first, like, four, I was like, oh, yeah, you know? Then I got to the last one, I'm like... Okay, let me get in here. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You know what I mean? I was gassed. I was I was kind of beat. You know what I mean? And it's not so much getting in front of the camera. I can do this all day, every day. Easy breezy. It's going back over there and editing all of them. Even though I don't do a lot of editing. You all know I don't do B-roll. I don't really do effects anymore or anything. But it's just a fact of still you got to crop and cut and piece together. So seven videos, like you're just staring at a screen, right? Even now, I'm staring at a camera. I got three screens right here. I got this screen here. I got these lights on, you know. So just think about that. Like, you're not seeing this outside light. <laughs> you're looking at that screen and, you know, it's anyways, my eyes start to hurt. Like, you ever get that where you game too long or you're at work too long and like the top of your eyes start getting like that pressure? Anyways, that's what I had right there. So I was like, whew, these two days are going to be pretty sweet. But of course, what I do for my two days, I... You know, I mess around with my truck a little bit, but I'm gaming. You know, so it's kind of like, dude, you wanted to get away from it, but then you're in game. It's again, a big nerd. It's what I enjoy, you know? So uh, it was fun. It was definitely fun. It's a challenge I want to do for myself. And, you know, I think now going into a regular week, like two, three videos, it's going to be like, this ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it was really cool. Now, what I want to ask you guys, though, Actually, before we get into that, because I want to I talk to you guys about the products. One other thing I want to touch on real quick, and I got a video planned for this as well, but I want to kind of just touch on this a little bit, because I was thinking it myself. I was like, man, I bet some viewers out there wonder, like, how is this dude testing 
three mics, two keyboards, and one controller and posting videos like that. Like, how are you actually testing them and how is it gonna be? Are you actually using the products or are these just like unboxings? I don't know if you guys would think that, but me personally, I would think that, right? So I just wanna recap, and again, I'll have a video coming coming out kind of touching on this stuff, and I think I've done one before, how I review products, I think it's called. That's a long time ago. But anyways, just kind of rehashing that on you. Let's start up here at the mice, right? So Model D wireless, well, I covered the Model D wired before, so it's pretty much how does it perform wireless, how is the build? You know what I mean? Because I know the shape, I know the mouse already. Um, same with the Prime. It's a smaller Prime. I've been using the heck out of the Prime. So it's smaller. It's just, how does it feel in my hand? You know what I mean? Again, exact same thing with the Sabre Wireless. I've had the Sabre Wireless on my Max. I've been using it daily. So again, it's wireless. It's like, was any of this like new, new, new? I think the only thing that was really like new, new, new is the G3. Uh, five G four three five from Logitech. That was the only thing that was really maybe the Hanzo keyboard, but a keyboard's a keyboard, right? How does it? Bleh, them switches are stinking annoying, you know. But again, a lot of it was rehashes. The first Wolverine controller I had it, I didn't cover because it, it didn't excite me too much. You know, the difference on this one is the buttons and stuff, the RGB. So again, nothing was really like new that I really had to dive deep into. It was kind of like rehashes, upgrades, different uh, versions. You know, so it's pretty easy to cover some of this stuff right here. Um, one other thing I want to touch on is what am I... No, no, no. Let me back this up. I'm mixing up here, right? It, I'm, I'm a little, still a little washy up here, guys. <laughs> so anyways, that's how I covered all this stuff right there. Just if any of you guys want it, I'll dive deeper into it in a video in the future. But what I'm going to ask you guys, out of all of these products we covered, what was your favorite out of all of them? Whether that be the mice, the keyboards, or the controller. I want you to just pick one and let, let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. If I had to pick one, one, that's my favorite. Uh, I'd have to probably still go. You all saw in the video I said it's my new main. I'd have to go with the Model D Wireless because I'm a big Zowie EC fan, right? A lot of you just probably know that. And this is just, it's its fantastic. I've been playing a new Call of Duty, the beta. Um, I love the mouse. And you know, even, it, I think why I love it so much is number one, the build is great. The performance is great. It's awesome being able to say the build is great on a glorious product. It really is, right? Um, but it's just that shape finally coming into wireless. I've always wanted Zowie to make wireless, you know, and again, the build. But even as a product reviewer, like we get stuff sent to us, right? Expensive mice, cheap mice, these high-end products, you know, whatever, a whole mix of bag. But I, I, what I really love about it is the shape, the performance, the build and everything. And it's still coming in at that reasonable price that I think a lot of people can buy. And me, even as I use products, right? Like I get custom keyboards, you know, and fancy audio setups. I still use the stuff that I can relate with consumers with. If that sounds weird or cheesy, I don't know. It's just me, right? It's like, yeah, I can relate with this. I love it. If I wasn't reviewing products, I would still main this. It's something that's not going to break the bank. It's quality. Anyways, that's why it's my favorite. Let me know what's your guys' favorite down there. And uh, and uh, we'll talk about that down below. What other products? I want to touch on this as well. It's like talking about that being my favorite out of everything we covered. This is staying on my gaming desk. Um, this So the Prime is not the Prime Mini, but the regular Prime is still on my desk. I swap mice a lot. Like it's hard to even say something's a main because you switch so much. The uh, Corsair Sabre is actually, like I stated in the video, it's on my Mac. I have two Macs um, and I have one at each. It's just, it's that good of a work mouse where it's, my hand doesn't get fatigued at all. I get no cramps whatsoever. It flows in there perfectly for work, right? The Prime Mini, this thing I won't be using. Y'all know I don't like small mice. The um, Hanzo, the clicky switches I won't be using, right? The color theme is weird. So this, I love this headset. I really do. I'd probably use it a lot more, but come on, you ain't gonna get you ain't gonna catch cat techni in a, a white and purple headset, you know. Now, this razor keyboard, let me show you guys this. This is so cool. Now I don't have it plugged in, but let me see if I can pull it closer. Do y'all see the keycaps? So I got the Phantom. I put the Phantom white keycaps, and then I left the uh, black ones as a stock, so I can always see my WASD, which you know. Believe it or not, with the fan of keycaps, it gets a little confusing. So, but anyways, I left all my shortcuts stock. 
and then I put the, the phantom over everything else. So it's real cool when it lights up, you got the red, black, and white theme. It looks so stinking awesome. Again, let me see. I don't know if I gave it time to focus right there, but you can kind of get the vibe right there. It's super cool. I love these phantom keycaps, and I love this keyboard. I actually put more... Let me see. Well, I got this mic. I'm going to keep looking up here to this mic. I put more lube on it. Let me see if it... Like, the stabs sound better than the regular keys now. You see, isn't that crazy? After the video, because I listened to the video back, I'm like, that sounds better, sure, but it could sound better, right? <laughs> so anyways, I went in there and I actually, I put some lube, some serious lube on these guys. A little bit too much, I had to dab some off. But anyways, wow, I mean, it sounds stinking awesome now. And I've been using this a lot. I have been using this a lot on uh, my desk right there. I'm kind of swapping between that and the Apex Pro right now. And I'm really trying to figure it out in my mind. It, it's pretty tough right now, it really is. I don't know if I'll make a video on that. It's just something I'm trying to figure out. You know what I mean? Um, and then the controllers. Yeah, you know, I don't know. This, that was probably my least favorite out of everything right here, this controller. And I will be, if some of you are wondering, about a lot of these controllers. Some of you are probably wondering, yo, why why is the Model D your main now over the Rocat um, Cone Pro Air? Forgot the name right there, right? Why is that your main right now? How does the Razer controller stack up to some other controllers? How does this Razer keyboard stack up to some other keyboards? I'm not sure if I'm going to include this headset in other follow-up videos, but again, a lot of these products, some of those questions you guys are asking I will be doing follow-up videos and answering a lot of those questions for these other products as well. And then also my last impressions videos of like the Model D, how is it gonna hold up over a month? So we got a lot more content coming for these products as well, but um, getting back to the regular schedule until the holidays, I'm sure when the holidays come, we'll be cranking a lot, cranking like that again, you know, it was so fun, it really was. It's probably, honestly, like the whole thing of seven videos in four days is if you do a YouTube channel, that is not what you wanna do right? It's the absolute, probably opposite thing you want to do for the algorithm, right? Because YouTube, they promote a video and then it shows up on your recommended for subscribers and stuff or other people and they see it there. But now if you got seven videos in four days, like you don't know what's new. You don't know what's there. You know what I mean? So again, if you do YouTube channel, it's probably not what you want to do. But again, like I state, I love it. I love doing it. It's why I post them just because I have fun. Right, I'm not trying to grind and chase numbers or anything like that. I'm having fun covering these products and posting these videos. And again, I've always stated it before, I want my channel to be this database where you can go and find whatever product you want, kind of like the Google search, right? You just type in technique your product, bam, and it's gonna come up and you're gonna know what you're gonna get. Straight, raw, straightforward consumer coverage review. Not spec filled, not commercial driven, just how is this product as an actual user? You know what I mean? So uh, anyways, guys, it was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me for it. If you haven't checked any of the videos out, go check them out. Um, you know, again, they're all pretty stinking new out there. So, um, but let, again, spark that down in the comments um, and that'll enter you for the giveaway for the Hottie Mouse and I'll draw the giveaway either tonight or tomorrow morning-ish right there. So again, thank you guys so much and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.